Oh, Selamat pagi, abakabar, which means like, good morning, how are you doing? So I was having breakfast this morning here in Bali, uh, in Changu, and I was reading through people's comments, reading through you all's comments. And first of all, thank you guys so much for the love and people who are supporting me, thank you so much. I believe Daniel, you made a contribution. Greg Gertz, thank you for your contribution. Two other people, I'll say it in the next video when I write your name down. Um, but you know, I, I sent the video, if you missed yesterday's video or the last video I uploaded, was talking about three reasons why you should retire to Bali. And my point of that video was just to kind of show you the show you the beautiful sides of being in Bali. Now, I heard a lot of negative, there was a lot of negativity there. And I have no problem with negativity. People are gonna say what they want. But this one was different. It was negativity based on something that I don't think people are aware of. Because people were saying, hey, you shouldn't come and visit during this time period. With everything that's going on in the world, don't come and visit, don't do all this kind of stuff. And I wanted to point people's attention to what I've noticed living here in Bali for, in two weeks a year, what I've noticed. And because people are saying, no, you're not needed, you're not wanted. But I can tell you one thing from me going around, I tried to not make this video emotional, but as I was reading those comments, I got super emotional because so many of these comments are probably coming from people who, number one, aren't in Bali, or number two, they're in Bali, but they're fine. They're living fine, they, they have money, they're okay. But what I can tell you is since there hasn't been tourism here, and I'm a hands-on person, I'm someone who goes around, I wanna see people. I wanna, I, I mean, I keep my distance, of course, when I'm around people, I, I, I try to take the most precautions as I can. But one thing that I can tell you is, is the tourism is very, is, is missed on a completely another level than I think people are realizing who aren't here. You know, so the last, starting like around April, April, May, June, July, it kind of just been empty. Like I was living in Changu and Seminyak, totally empty. And I can tell you when I would go in to eat in a restaurant or me and Daniel would go to eat, we'd be the only people there. You know, as I said, I don't want to make this emotional, but I don't think people, emotion is powerful when it's wielded in the right way. And I hope that this inspires you guys to give back or to reach out or at least change your view on things. But, you know, as we went out to eat in these Slambagivas, as we went out to to go all these places to eat and 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 do all these different things we were the only people there we were the only people there in an entire restaurant and these aren't restaurants that are like chain restaurants like a burger king or mcdonald's that have billions in the bank these are restaurants that are outside of someone's home and that's how they make their living that's how they make their money and so many times we'd be the only people there their only customer you know for me especially april may june july I, I was when I started to train again and you know I, I was I was working out I was going for massages I was going for massage every day and when I did it you know there were maybe two out of every three days I was the only customer there you know and my the people my the people who I went for the massage with all the time they have come from Sulawesi which is where the earthquake just happened and my my prayers my thoughts go out to the people in Sulawesi Indonesia and they come all the way over here to work and they get one customer a day. One customer a day. And if you guys don't know, for a massage here, it costs like 80,000 rupiah, which is like $4. $4. So in one day, $4. And half of that would go to their owner of the massage place. Now, of course, we tipped them and took care of them, but this shows you like what's missing. So when it's like, yeah, move to Bali, it's not just so you can enjoy yourself, but because it, it, it kind of goes and helps the people. Now, this is all my opinion. This is what I've noticed from being here, from living here, from me going out every single day, from me going to restaurants. And I've seen the people say, thank you so much for coming here because no one's been here. We have no tourists. 99% everything dropped. And it's not like they just shut up shop and then go to do their things. Many people just moved back to the village. And now people are just starting to come out now. And I mean, just the other day when I was in a place, the lady said they've been in the village for the last nine months, no job doing nothing because there's no tourists, no tourists in the restaurants, no tourists to rent the scooters. So the scooter, when you guys see me on a scooter, like I rent this from someone. And I, I mean, I take care of these people, I've been with them for a year, but these people who I rent the scooter from, they have about 50 scooters, unused, but they're still paying for it. So, you know, when I think, when I think it's like retired of Bali, and you guys know I'm, if you guys have been around here, you know I'm all about the people. It benefits them so much and, it, and it's, it's easy for someone who's coming here to retire to understand like, oh, if I'm only paying $5 for a massage, I can give $8 or $10 or pay triple or whatever it is you feel. 
And it's, it's much deeper than just like, oh, come over here and just enjoy yourself. You know, these homestays, the places where I stay, you know, you guys know I rented the office when I was living in Ubud. That was the house that they had in the back of their home that always was full all the time. Always full. Rented the entire year. But no one came there. So the family was, they had, they had nothing. It was one of the reasons why I rented the office. The place that you guys saw us live in Ubud. This six, we lived in like a six bedroom villa with, with a staff room in the back. Like, and they gave us a good deal or else we wouldn't have taken it. But usually that's full all year round. The price we played for the entire villa is what they charge normally for one room. And they have six rooms. And they're full all the time, all year round. But we were able to, we were able to take it for four months for the price of one room because we, I mean, we didn't really want it, but they're like, please just take it enough to pay the staff so they don't have to let them go. So there's been a lot of things going on here. And, you know, when I read people's comments and I see people like, oh, you no, know, tourists stay out, stay where you're going, like, don't come in. And I can tell you off of my experience, I don't know all the rules and I don't know everything that's going on. I know from my experience and what I've seen. And I talk to the people and I know the people. And anywhere you see me go in the vlog and you see it here, go to that place and ask them. A lot of them are suffering and a lot of them are having a lot of problems. So when I, when I, when I make videos like that and why I got really emotional is because, you know, they're so nice, the people here, they're so kind. They don't, even if they don't have a lot, they will give you whatever they have. So it was like, almost like, not out of like, be a hero because they're victims and suffering, but because like, I think 92% of things are just done here. I read a quote, 92 million people, or I read something crazy, some crazy statistic. And it's much different than in Western society where people are just taking unemployment and everything's fine. It's much different here. Now, from what I've heard, I heard the people here in Bali, they, they are always fed by their community. This is one thing that I have heard because you don't really see homeless people on the streets here in Bali. But when I made the suggestion of coming to Bali, it's so we can help support the people here. The people of Bali, for me, they're like my family. Like every single time I see a smile, I see a kid, I see a family, like my heart just warms up literally and when i see i look at what's here and i i understand and they'll always be smiling and they'll always take care of each other that's what how the balinese they are but when i look at what's missing and i'm like yeah the guy who has 60 scooters that are normally all rented now he has to just make sure they're all starting and running for when things open back up they've had their hopes up i have a lot of friends who have places here they had their hopes up for places to open back in i think it was september and it didn't happen and then they we don't know how we're going to make it till december then it didn't happen again so it's this, the villas, all the villas, they're empty. No one's there, no one's renting them. So the locals were, was counting on that money. And I'm not talking about the Western run places. I wasn't saying guys come over here and open up your business and shop and, and make money from the Westerns. But when I was saying retire, I meant because you can have a good life and because you can come over here and you can help out the locals. You can help out the other people by just your day to day. By going for a massage, it helps them out. Like, I kid you not, I kid you not. I went to two different places like a week or two ago and I'd been the only person there the whole day. It's a true story. And I think I'm on massage and the lady I was getting massage, she was crying. You know, she was crying. For just a minute, I, I changed her state, you know, like, hey, well, you got a customer now. I'm gonna give you a good tip. You're gonna be okay. But she was crying. And she was giving me a massage. I promise to God, this is a, a this is a, this is a true story. Cause she said she didn't have, she, she didn't have any money. She's like, I, I've been in the village for nine months. I've only, I had 10,000, I couldn't even eat. She's like, some days I don't even eat. And she has a family. You know, this is just one story. I have, I have hundreds of these stories that's happened. If you guys don't know, I, I don't know if I've talked about it in the vlog, but I went up to Ahmed, me and Dana, and we were on the beach and this lady's trying to sell us a sarong. So if you don't know what sarong is, a sarong is like a, t uh, a towel, but it's not a towel at all. It's a very sacred thing, the sarong. It's what you have to wear when you go in the temples. It's what you have to wear during, they wear during ceremonies. And they were selling them to us on the beach. And she was trying to sell it to us for 100000 which is like $5. We don't want it. We have, we're sitting on one. We don't want one. And then she, she came back again, like, hey, please, I'll give it to you for 40000 which is like $3 for one of these. And we, we really don't want it. But finally, we're just like, you know, let's, let's give her a... Let's, let's just get one of these towels. Let's get one of these from her. So we brought two of them, I believe. And we just gave her 100000 Like, it's fine, take it. So it's like 6 7 $8, something like this. And we give it to her. 
And as soon as we give her the money for it, she just starts to break down. I remember like it was yesterday. I remember the lady's face. She just breaks down. And she's like, thank you so much. Now I can go buy rice for my family. Like she wanted the money to buy rice. And that was all they're eating. And as she walked away, you know, I didn't hear her say that. Dana heard her say that. And I was like, what did she say? And she said, oh, she can finally buy rice now. And she left the beach. Kind of, she went jogging off to go buy some rice for her family. And I was like, what? I was like, no, she didn't. She's like, yeah, that's what she said. So of course we ran back there and gave her more money to take care of her. But in the moment, that's just like, that's, that's what it's come down to. Cause I hear a lot of people talking about Bali. Well, they're fine because they all live in the, a compound and their compounds already paid for so they don't pay rent. But the people that I've talked to, what I can't even tell you how many times I've heard that from someone like, oh, thank you, now I can go buy rice. And have them just break down over and over, whatever. I, if I had just the extra change here, here's like three bucks, that's all I have. But for them that feeds their entire family, they're eating those little packets you can buy on the road for like 20 cents and that can feed their entire family. But a lot of them can't afford it. And I know today's video is not happy and joyous video, but I think emotion is what moves people. And for me, when I think about the people here, and when I say, yeah, come to Bali, come visit Bali, not just so you can have your own pleasure, but because it's a place where you can come and enjoy. And the more you enjoy, the more you go for massages, the more you go on excursions, the more you go to restaurants, the more you do all this stuff, the more it helps out the people here. So if you live here and you're renting a place, that means a family now has the money coming in from you paying for the rent because there's homestays here as you guys know you can stay in the places for like 150 bucks a month but there'll be like 20 places in there and all of them are empty now but they're still paying for it so i hope that this kind of maybe maybe changed your perspective and i don't i don't really care to change your perspective but i just want to show you a different one because i live here and I go out to the places, I go to the local places, I go to the Western places, I go to all the places, I know all the people. <laughs> Anyone, I mean, you can fact check me. I film it all. Go into the places and ask. But deep down, as much as they smile and they don't, all, they don't take help, they don't even take, like if you were to just give them money, they don't even take it. I've really had to be very careful here in Bali if I'm trying to help out. When I go to the store, I give them the money, I look around, then I'm like, oh, I don't want anything and walk away because they don't take it and they don't most of the time I've, I, I've rarely been like someone's taking the tip and like thank you they always are in just such shock but they miss having the people the tourists here this isn't a plea for everyone come here and tourist and come visit i mean maybe it's in 2023 when you come or 2025 i don't know but i wanted to point you out to the reality and you make your own decision now i believe bali's closed right now but when they open people who have wanted to live here when you come here and if you are here now and watching this video, do something to help out. $5 maybe for a Western, we're just like $5, I, what, what? But for them, it's like that feeds their family. And this is kind of just almost like a response video or I don't know what I'm even gonna call it, but I was just kind of triggered in just a very, a way of just like, you guys have no idea, the people who are leaving the negative comments. And I saw something about, look at something on Twitter. I didn't really understand that 100%. All I know is that as I tell people when I meet them is I'm passing through. Like I'm just passing through. When I was in Poland living for three months, or I was in Ukraine living a month, or I was in Bulgaria for almost a month, back in the States for two weeks, Thailand for a couple weeks, Vietnam for a couple weeks, Bali for probably a couple years or decades, I'm passing through. To you watching me on this channel, I'm just passing through. And then I'm gone. So for me, my mentality is like, how can I leave the biggest impact right now? And I hope watching this that you'll look at it from a different perspective. It could be Bali, it could be anywhere. But looking at it through a perspective of not like, oh, I'm gonna be a tourist, but you're just gonna go help out. Because when everyone thinks like that, the world just becomes a better place as a whole. And that's kind of all I want to say today as I'm starting to sweat already because it is super hot and I'm off to, off to the gym. But I just was reading through the comments and had to say that because I think people are just confused. And it's about other people. You know, everyone talks about consciousness. And if you guys are in Project Alpha, we're gonna be getting into this in a week and a half. You guys can still join, by the way. I think when you raise your level of consciousness, AKA you raise your level of awareness on this planet, you realize that it is about the other person. 
How can I help? How can I be of service? The greatest people in the world who we know to this day were all servants. They gave. Not about what I can take. You can come here and live your best life and do the most amazing things and help out the local community a thousand times more than you could where you live and you'll still be saving money. So it's a win all the way around. And that's why, and it's not even to justify what I made the last video, but this is to bring a little more clarity into it. And on that note, I'm in a uh, little, I think I'm in someone's yard, actually. I think I'm in someone's villa. So we're gonna leave here, head back, get some food, some coconut water, but I had to make that video for you guys. Hope you guys are okay. Send me your comments, messages. If you're from Bali and there's a way people can help you out, feel free to leave it down in the comments and ways you know to help out. We've been helping out a lot, um, but maybe I'll make something more, more specific and film it. But on that note, we did it. Not super emotional, we're good. Going back to eat. I wanna thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll speak to you all later. And in the meantime, everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao.